Hello, my name is Jason Arcus, and I'm the Associate Principal Percussionist and Timpanist with the Minnesota Orchestra for the last 28 years. I started playing music when I was eight years old on the clarinet, and then I moved over to percussion when I was 12, when my dentist told me that I needed braces and I had to stop playing the clarinet. Well, the rest is history, because I never left the percussion instruments and never went back to clarinet. What we're going to do today is talk about a unique group of percussion instruments called the mallet keyboard percussion instruments. And these instruments are set up very much like a piano in the fact that the notes in front of me are the white keys of a piano and the notes behind me are the black keys of a piano. And I'm gonna demonstrate four unique mallet keyboard percussion instruments today. The first one that I just played with four mallets is called a marimba. The marimba is made up of wooden bars and has its origin in Africa on more primitive marimbas, although this one reflects the more modern piano. Now, as you can see, we have all of these resonators here. Now, these resonators help to keep the instrument ringing and help create resonance, thus resonators. If I were to cover one of these bars, it would sound like this. This is what it sounds like without it. You can tell that it's a much more resonant sound when the bar is able to ring without anything underneath the resonator. I'm now gonna demonstrate a two mallet excerpt, and then we're gonna go over to another wooden instrument called the xylophone. Now we're gonna go over to the xylophone and play the same piece. Notice the different sound when I play the xylophone than when I played the marimba. The sound is a lot shorter, or we use the term staccato. And part of the reason is that these resonators are a lot shorter than the resonators on the marimba. This instrument was popularized during a period of time called ragtime. And there was lots of different kinds of ragtime music. And the xylophone was a solo and featured instrument during this period of time. So let me give you a little demonstration of what that might sound like. Not only is this instrument played as a solo instrument, it's also played in the orchestra as well. And I will now demonstrate that for you. Notice the quality of mallets that I'm gonna be using. These are a lot harder than the other ones. Now this instrument, the vibraphone, is distinctly different from the marimba and the xylophone. The bars are made out of aluminum, and because the bars are made out of aluminum, they can ring for a lot longer than the other two instruments. What's unique about this instrument is it has a foot pedal, and when I press the foot pedal, it releases a damper bar along the bars and allows the instrument to ring for a really long period of time. When I don't press the pedal, it has much more of a staccato sound. Another very interesting feature of this instrument 
is it has fans underneath each bar. And when these fans open and close, it creates a unique sound called vibrato. And normally, the instrument would be plugged in, but I could demonstrate that creating the vibrato with my hand. This instrument is used in a type of music called jazz, and I'll give you a little demonstration of what that sounds like. Another interesting factor of this instrument is our ability to get different sound effects. Oftentimes, composers will call for us to use a bass bow rubbed across the bars in order to get an interesting, eerie sound effect. The last instrument we're going to talk with you about today is called the orchestra bells. The orchestra bells are made out of steel and it has a very high pitched metallic sound to it. And it's so high pitched that I sometimes have to put earplugs in because it gets really loud. I'm going to demonstrate this now and I want you to listen really carefully and see if you recognize the theme that I play after the first two bars of music. That, of course, was Star Wars written by the great composer John Williams. Now, we can also get a different kind of sound on this instrument. With a softer sound, we can play Mozart. Perhaps one of my favorite pieces is a piece by Paul Dukas called The Sorcerer's Apprentice. And this was a piece featured in the movie Fantasia. Well, I wanna thank everybody for being with me today to talk about the mallet keyboard percussion instruments. I want to say how important music is in my life, and I'm hoping that music becomes a valuable part in your life as well. Sometimes when you're sad, music can lift you up, and it's all in all a joyous experience, and we hope that whether everybody just listens to music or whether you guys decide to learn how to play an instrument, I really recommend the value of trying to get more involved in music because whether you just listen or whether you play, it'll add great value to your life. Thank you very much for joining me today, and we hope to see you soon at Orchestra Hall. <laughs>